Good morning. Today is day 60. We are two thirds of the way done as far as days are concerned. It is July 5th. We are leaving Lander and we're going to Dubois. It's about 70 miles or so. The winds are supposed to be really bad today, so we're trying to get off early. It's 6.05. We're going to take off uh, right now, try to beat the winds, and get to Dubois before the winds get really bad like they were absolutely brutal yesterday. It is 6.05 and we're leaving. Uh, this lander park is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a beautiful river that you can swim in. It's got baseball fields. They allow camping for three days for free. The downtown is beautiful. This is a great city to come back downtown to. Downtown Lander. At 6.15 in the morning. Pretty quiet. So we had big plans yesterday to go to the rodeo, which we missed because we were tired. We thought we'd stay up for the fireworks, which we didn't because we were tired. So we missed the fireworks, we missed the rodeo. The parade was at 10 a.m. We missed that, but we still had a great day anyway. The mountains look pretty today with the sun playing on them. Is that a fox? A hog. Looks like a wild dog. We've been riding parallel to these mountains since we got out of Lander this morning. But in six or seven miles, we're gonna start going up them. Nice water here though. Of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints. I'm not prejudiced. This is the church of the day. The sun's not perfect, but it's the best I can do. No, we didn't. So the Hoosier Pass was at 11,500 feet of elevation. We're going through Fort Waukesha right now in the uh, Waukesha Indian Reservation and we're at 5,500 feet. So we've gone down quite a bit, but we're gonna start climbing here in the next two or three miles. And I do believe we're supposed to be climbing pretty much all day at a slight elevation rise, not super fast, no 10% grades or anything. But this first one looks like a pretty decent little climb. I'm looking at it right now. And there it is, it's the first uh, big climb of the day. Don't know if you can tell it's a climb or not, but it is. Nice view coming into this valley. Sort of hazy today though. Still some snow-capped mountains. So we're at the Diversion Dam rest area. Looks like there's a club ride going on. We're gonna stop and have something to eat and something to drink. So come to find out, this is a Cycle America group with about 60 riders. They're all supported by this crew of workers and they feed them lunch. And this is their lunch and they were nice enough to allow us to eat lunch here too. So we had watermelon and cheese and crackers and bananas and oranges and all sorts of good stuff and uh, now we're gonna push off we're going east to west they're going west to east they're on a uh, about a 90-day ride and about nine grand 
Well, that ended up being a fantastic stop. Cycle America was there. They have 60 riders or so. They allowed us to eat off their uh, food truck, so to speak. And it was really good and I feel re-energized. We've already got 35 miles in. So we're essentially halfway there. Feeling good, the wind is almost non-existent and it was supposed to be really bad today. So we're just super stoked. Bull Lake Creek, beautiful river. Look at that river. 93 degrees, pretty much full sun at 10 minutes to 11. We've got 40 miles in and roughly 30 miles to go. But the wind has been no factor today. This cow decided to uh, run along with us. I hope you can see him. He's actually trotting right now. I know you probably can't read that sign, but Du Bois 33, Yellowstone 115. We're making progress. So we got 10 miles down the road from the last rest stop and now we're at the Sinclair gas station and we're meeting a lot of bikers going west to east and we're sort of having a little bicycle reunion here. Eating, drinking, conversing and having a good time. Cutting the hay. Okay, so this is quite the view. We've come up on top of a hill or a butte and we have this huge valley below us. Just amazing. I hope you can get an idea of how far that is away and how far down it is. And then way back in the distance, snow-capped mountains. in one of the most scenic areas we've been in, we have road construction. We have this beautiful river, these unbelievable mountains right next to the road, and it looks like the bridge is under construction up here. Today's snack, trail mix, fruit and nut. Been very good. This is the Wind River. Beautiful. Museum of Military Vehicles. Didn't know it existed until yesterday, but we're gonna go check it out today. As soon as these cars get out of our way. Man, there's an old World War I tank, huh? Yeah. Inside the museum with all of the vehicles. This is just a small portion of them. The Huey helicopter made famous in the Vietnam War. So we're back on the road from the museum. We were in it about two hours, maybe a little longer. We have five miles to get to our host's house. And then we're gonna have some spaghetti for dinner, relax, do the YouTube journal, go to bed, start all over again tomorrow.
So we made it to our host's house tonight. This is a friend of a friend of Mark's and it's quite the place. It's right on the river and we're gonna spend the night here, get up early, head into Du Bois, have breakfast, and then from there we will ride on about 70 miles tomorrow, up a huge climb. Ought to be interesting. <laughs> 